Hello. Today I would like to talk to you about USBM. And by that I mean black metal from the United States. But if you're watching this, you already know that. And you're also well aware that the style of music from this country has dealt with a fair or maybe an unfair amount of criticism. Undue criticism, I would say. And today I want to talk to you about not only has black metal been produced in the United States for decades now, its longevity should stand out, but also its quality. I'm going to go over with you six, my top six, black metal releases from the 1980s. So this is the early stuff. It's all first wave stuff. Heavy influenced by speed and thrash with the overt Satanism. But the, uh, the aspect that I tend to find a lot more, especially in the 80s and in USBM, is they retained a lot of the black humor that I think is necessary to actually complete what I see as the entire package of what black metal is. So, I would like to start with uh, NME, or band from up in Washington, Washington State, that is. They released an album called Unholy Death in 1980. It's a very thrash-influenced, uh, maybe thrash-heavy album, you could say. Now, this album uh, didn't really spawn any imitators. Uh, for, for me, this sound is very unique, especially coming out in 1986. A lot heavier than the other albums that were coming out in the thrash arena at that time, and that's why I would definitely put it in a, a different category and call it Black Melon. In, first, in fact, the very first USBM release. Uh, the next album I'm, or band I'm going with is, is Goat Lord. They were formed in 1985. I'm, I'm going to go through these bands in chronological order of formation. Uh, Sodomize the Goats is the, the album that I would choose by them. And in fact, I uh, recently picked up a, a vinyl from Nuclear War Now. They're, they're very good for uh, putting out these, these hard-to-find releases, things I would have never heard before, and I'm very thankful for that. And the gentleman who owns that company is uh, a gentleman and a scholar. Uh, this uh, vinyl has... Uh, it compiles two demos, like a demo and a rehearsal from uh, 87 and 85. Macabre, I believe, was one of the titles. Oh, no, that's the my next one. Uh, they uh, were definitely black metal. They had the, uh, the humor and uh, everything that I think uh, necessitates black metal. I would say maybe this is the first pure black metal release from the United States. Uh, the next one I'm going with is Lucifer's Hammer. They were formed in 1986 in the upper Midwest. They were a Michigan band. So the, you can assume, and rightly so, they had connections with Summon and Wind of the Black Mountain. And uh, that scene uh, started to grow and, and went into the Chicago area also. And uh, offered a, a lot of good stuff for, for quite some time. It's uh, where the Milwaukee Metal Fest was centered around and uh, Lucifer's Hammer is a, a band I would check out, especially if you enjoy that uh, upper Midwest style black metal, uh, thrash heavy still I would say. Uh, the next band I'm going to uh, suggest is, is Baphomet, Baphomet, I'm sure about the pronunciation, uh, and before you try to correct me here, the one to which I refer is the, the West Coast one, the one from Utah, not the New York one. The New York one is fantastic. Uh, in fact, if I made a top USBM release video, they would be on there, along with Evil Incarnate, Crucifier, Depression, Infester. But I digress, I'm sorry. Uh, do I refer for this top six album? Um, I don't think they really spawned a scene out in Utah at all. Uh, they were kind of lonely, as most of these bands are. You see, they, they seem to be separate from one another for the most part. Uh, next band I'm going with is Toten, the one I hinted at here. Uh, this also put out by uh, Nuclear War Now, compiles two demos, Macabre and uh, Misery. Uh, more of a death 
early proto death metal influence in the black metal on this than thrash or speed or anything like that, but squarely, squarely black metal. Uh, failed to mention probably the most important fact, or at least uh, noteworthy fact, is this is uh, related. To, this is a New York band related to had to have uh, Pro Fanatica and whatnot. And I actually like these demos more than than what those two bands uh, produced. Uh, and finally, number six, I'm going with Sakanis. Uh, they were formed in 1988. Demo I'm suggesting that you listen to is Ripping Evil. Uh, this was a Philly band. Um, we all know Philadelphia produced a, a great number of bands of varying quality, but this is one of the first extreme bands and, and uh, maybe responsible for spawning the scene? Uh, I don't know. Uh, but it's still a very solid scene with uh, a lot of top-notch musicians living in the area. Now that was my top six, and I like to give you top sixes, but I also like to offer a bonus. And this bonus, while I didn't include it in the list, because is it black metal or not? I say so, but I don't think most people would agree with me. And the band to which I refer is Ex Blah, Exorcist. Uh, they're related to Virgin Steel. They're definitely done for comedic effect, which I think is so important for black metal. As I'll mention ad nauseum. Um, and uh, they, their sound was a very raw speed metal. With guitar solos like crazy and... Uh, very competent musicianship, as you would expect from the uh, individuals from Virgin Steel. Uh, also, I have to point out the album artwork, the, the photograph, is very spooky, it, it's creepy, and I tend to like the, the photographs on albums. Uh, Mortuary Drape is an example of a band who's done it well. Uh, Master's Hammer, even Megadeth. Something with the M's maybe, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, Megadeth's first album, uh, the Skull, Skull Beneath the Skin, uh, is much spookier and more impactful to me than any drawing or painting or anything could be. Uh, but once again, I digress. Uh, but I, I hope you learned something, you found something, gave, going to give USBM another chance, I, hopefully. Uh, I'm going to do some more videos like this. Uh, not necessarily about USBM, but that too. Uh, but also other geographical areas that maybe you don't think highly of their black metal output, or maybe you're unaware of their black metal output. So, so look for those. Thank you.